am turning 30. Damn. 30. Damn. I have been on this earth for 30 years. Damn. God is good. Okay. So I wanted to do a video in honor of my 30th birthday. I was going to do 10 or 30 lessons that I've learned. Um, you know, in 30 years, but that will be entirely too long. So I chopped it down to my top 10 that I could think of. I'm sure these aren't my top 10, but, um, I'm going to do 10 lessons that 10 very important lessons that I've learned in 30 years. And I hope that this will help you other young women and I, or anyone who can relate to some of the lessons that I've learned. All right, let's get to it. Number one. You are the source of your own happiness. Not your mom, not your dad, your cousin, sister, brother, uncle, auntie, best friend. No one, not your cars, your homes, your clothes. You. Internally, you. Um, there is no one on this earth and there is nothing on this earth that can give you everlasting happiness. Or happiness that is not just going to be for that moment. You have to know yourself and be happy with yourself before you um, become happy with other things. Because, you know, having a nice car or having nice clothes or, you know, doing, going on vacation, those things are things that can make us happier. But if you are not truly happy with yourself, none of that stuff matters. None of it will even make an impact on your life if you are not happy with yourself. You are the source of your own happiness. Number two, forgiveness. Forgiveness is such a hard thing to do, um, but it is so necessary. You know, we have people that have hurt us in our life. And, um, you know, sometimes we hold on to the hurt that they've caused us when, you know, at, in, in those moments, yeah, you're angry, you're upset, you're sad, you're heartbroken. But years down the line, you don't need to hold on to that hurt. Uh, you need to forgive them. Because when you when you are angry and you're upset with a person and you're holding on to that for years and years, you know, you're 40, 50 years old, and you're still mad at that same man or woman or whoever, family member, whoever hurt you, you're just hurting yourself. You're just weighing yourself down with that pain of not forgiving them. But when you forgive them, you get so much freedom and you get your power back. So forgiving someone is not being their best friend again or letting them back into in your life to cause you more harm. But it's forgiving them so that your heart can be pure again and you don't have that anger or that hate trapped inside of you. So forgiveness is definitely one of my biggest lessons that I've learned. Number three, toxic relationships. You know, when we're in our 20s, we believe that some of us do meet our soulmates or meet uh, the love of our lives when we're 21 years old. And, you know, people stay married for 20, 40, 70, 60, 50 years. And, you know, that's them. They live happily ever after. But if you are in a relationship that is draining you, you're not progressing in that relationship, um, you are miserable. You are being abused physically, emotionally. Let it go. In your 20s, it is okay to move on. Um, don't let the outside, don't let outside people tell you that, oh, she just got out of a relationship. Or he, he just got out of a relationship. He's right back in another one. Or, you know, that won't last. They always break up. Or if you are in a toxic relationship, let it go. Don't worry about what the outside people will say because again you are the source of your own happiness if you are letting something like that drain you it will kill you okay so toxic relationships it's okay to let it go in your 20s <laughs> it's okay to let it go in however old you are but that is definitely a big lesson that i learned if it's toxic let it go you'll get over it eventually let it go number four do not compare yourself to other people um, 
I think that this day with social media, you know, Instagram, the Facebook, the Snapchats, you see people on vacations, you see people buying lavish cars and doing all these lavish things, but you don't need to put yourself in a situation to where you're looking on social media, say Instagram, for example, and you're like, dang, I wish I could go to the Bahamas or I wish I could do this, this, and this. Um, the only thing you're doing is putting unnecessary pressure and stresses on yourself and you never know what people are going through and you never know how that person went on vacation. Maybe it was a gift. You never know when you see that person in that nice car that that could be a, they could be on their way to getting that car repossessed because they can't afford the payments or you never know. You see happy people in these amazing relationships but behind closed doors someone is getting abused or someone is totally unhappy or they don't trust the person that they're with so it's very important that focus on yourself and your lane you can't want and lust over other things that are not yours um comparison is the thief of all joy and it goes back to owning you are the source of your own happiness there's no need to compare yourself to anyone else because guess what? You are uniquely made. There is no one on this earth that is like you. So you need to focus on that. That alone will make you like, dang, there's only one me. There's only one Tisha out there. Um, and there's nobody else like me. I may not be perfect, but I'm not going to compare myself to someone else and wish that my life was like theirs. So that's very important. Number five, if you have people on this earth that you love and that you appreciate, tell them that you love them. No one is promised tomorrow. You never know. You may walk outside and drop dead for no reason. Or that person that you love may drop dead for no apparent reason or for old age or from a disease. But it's far too often that we have family, we have friends and stuff that we haven't talked to in forever Simply because we won't send a text or pick up a phone or do something to say, hey, I love you. Hey, I was thinking of you today. The same for if you live in the same town with your family, your fr your friends, and your mother, and your sisters and brothers, go see the people you love. When they leave, it will hurt you so much to say or to know that you didn't, you didn't appreciate them and you didn't tell them that you appreciate them while they were on this earth. And, you know, I had an aunt that passed away uh, from suicide and I love her so much. But when was the last time I told her that I loved her? You never know how that could make someone feel. Someone could be at home writing their suicide letter and that someone could be someone that you love. So it's very important to tell people that you love them and that you're thinking of them or you appreciate them. And if you have the opportunity to see them, go see them. Number six, which is a really important one, detox. And when I say detox, I mean detox your mind, body, and soul. Um, detox your mind from the things that you see on social media, on TV, or any whatever you have in your presence. Um, Arranging your social media feed so that you only see motivation and inspiration for whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's your business or, you know, with your family. Um, detoxing your body. There's so many chemicals in our foods. And that's, another, that's a whole nother video, but detoxing your body from these processed foods and these antibiotic filled animal, um, animal products is key. Um, and detoxing your soul, whether you believe in a higher power or not, um, it is so important to connect to that. Whether it is, you know, having your prayer sessions, writing in a journal to clear your mind, you have to detox your soul. And, you know, going on fast, whether you do a weekend fast, you do a whole day, three days, whatever it is that you do, as long as you do that to disconnect from this world and connect to the higher source. It is key. Key. Number seven, budget. Budget, budget, budget. 
you go on your vacations, do whatever it is that you want to do, get your hair done, get your nails done, but budget. You should always be saving money, whether it's $10, $20, just the change you scraped up out of your car. Budget. Save. Do you want to do it? Take pictures. Um, I have so many things that I've done and um, so many memories that all I have is memories of them because I don't have pictures, whether you're on your fitness journey, whether you're on a vacation with your family, whether you're documenting your kids from babies to adults, like take pictures. I think it's so important too. Um, when I feel sad or like because I've moved and I'm here alone, um, I go on my Instagram feed and, you know, I just look at my pictures of, you know, places I've been and, you know, people that I've had great times with. And it makes me feel so much better to know that I've had those great times and I'll have those great times again. And just to have documented that, it, it take pictures of everything. Number nine, believe in yourself. No matter what. There were, there. listen, so many people doubted me so many people did not believe in me but I always believed in myself and I consider myself to be a successful person because I believed in myself no matter what and I didn't give up on myself even when it, you know I've had really really hard times I never never stopped believing in me believe in yourself no matter what and number 10 jump if you want to start a business write a book go back to school at 50 do it guess what it doesn't matter what anyone thinks except you because again you are the source of your own happiness do not let anything in this life or this world hold you back from doing what you want to do. Do it and you're going to love yourself so much more for taking that jump. That's all I have. Those are all my lessons. I hope that my lessons wake you up and make you take a double thought on, um, you know, how you're living your life or things that you probably can incorporate in yours. I will see you guys in the next video.